joining me now is Dr. Vincent Chen. He's the senior small and mid-cap biotech analyst at Bernstein. Uh, it's great to have you here. And uh, tell us what your concerns are about the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me. So, so Pfizer has spoken repeatedly of having data in October, but we're now getting into the last week of October, and we've yet to see data, which has raised some concern over whether this could be a delay relative to investor expectations and also relative to Pfizer's previous commentary. In, in particular, the concern is that if the vaccine is highly effective, then you're likely to have data read out early. If there's lots of infections in placebo group and basically nobody gets infected in vaccine group, then you can look at the data and declare victory very, very early on. On the other hand, if the efficacy is somewhat more middling or if the vaccine is actually not efficacious, then you need to let the trial run for much longer to get an answer. Um, so I would say that if we are indeed seeing a delay in the Pfizer trial, this could suggest that the vaccine's efficacy is a little bit lower than we thought and the odds of success may be maybe a little bit lower as well to dimensionalize the numbers. Going into the trial, many experts would have estimated or have some maybe, maybe a three quarters of likelihood of success and potential for 70 to 80 percent efficacy. We'd estimate that if the mm -hmm. first interim misses, then we're probably looking more like 60, 70, 60 to 70 percent efficacy, 60 to 70 percent odds of success. Um, of course, there could be other explanations. It's possible the interim analysis has not yet occurred. And it's also possible that Pfizer indeed actually has the data, but simply waiting to disclose it. But um, if it does turn out the early readout hasn't panned out as well as we'd hoped, this would bode poorly, not just for, for Pfizer's program, but actually cast a bit of a pall over the COVID yeah. vaccine field. Um, you recall that all the vaccines no, have the shown- No, the silence so is, is deafening, as you would say, doctor. Let, let me just ask you quickly before we move sure. on. Is it possible they're just delaying the news till after the election to avoid getting further caught up in the politics of it? I think that's relatively unlikely. I mean, it's certainly been a topic of debate. It's something that they've gone back and forth on. There's certainly been some degree of pressure, but um, Pfizer has definitely been out there sort of talking to folks who are somewhat more on the cautious side to try to persuade them that an earlier readout makes sense. And Pfizer ha actually has stated that while they would not seek emergency use authorization until until after the election, they have suggested that as the data becomes available, they would read out the data early um, and sort of reiterated at least a, at least as a week or two ago potential for an October readout. So that's fascinating. What you're saying is basically the silence is deafening at this point and raising some concern. So that's perhaps explains the way stocks are trading until we get more clarity. In the meantime, what about the other leading candidates, AstraZeneca in particular? Um, you know, it's interesting that you're saying that because Pfizer BioNTech was the leading candidate, kind of the prospects there will help the whole group rise or fall. But is it possible that there could emerge another front runner here? Um, well, it, it, cert it certainly could. Um, however, I would say that if, if Pfizer is indeed struggling, which is a little bit of conjecture at this point, it probably would read across negatively to the others. And recall that all the vaccines so far have shown that when you get the vaccine, you make a decent level of antibodies, but none of them yet have shown that antibodies actually translate into protection from COVID-19. If it turns out the Pfizer trial is not, being, not showing as much efficacy as maybe we had hoped, that would say, you know, maybe making antibodies doesn't quite translate that readily to actual protection from COVID-19, which is ultimately what matters and ultimately what will drive approval and what will get us out of this pandemic. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.